what's up fellas this is trip c uh coming to y'all with another video man the actual tutorial on how to help y'all with uh getting your streams to go better when trying to play back music uh when you don't get the lagging sounds the crackling and popping sounds that come with when you play you know on your keyboard or using your vsts especially through nexus and omnisphere uh are basically my two main focuses right now um uh, so check it out you know like i said like i said already pretty plain and dry uh it's very frustrating when you're trying to create a project and you can't get nothing done because everything is popping and it's just irritating you know you want to have that i guess it's that's just the, the issue that producers have you know what i mean they don't want to hear nothing like that they want to have it smooth and clean and you know everything goes according to plan so i'm gonna come here with a quick fix to try to show y'all some things uh hopefully this helps y'all out so go to nexus real quick pull that up now we go to nexus you can go down to the bottom right and you'll see a white uh sound box go ahead and click that and at the top right hand corner you see like export with ultra quality overwrite warnings and delete warnings when i first had installed my uh my stuff onto my computer um my laptop excuse me uh these were selected so i deselected them and then my page speed was at 20 percent uh not too sure what this really does i guess maybe the pages and I, i'm not too sure i'm not even gonna try to bs y'all on that but i moved it up to 90 percent, and it helped out significantly um i'll show y'all when i you know i would play on the keys or whatever it would screw up on me a lot i tell you i couldn't even i couldn't even do nothing man i i gave up that's how bad it was because i didn't know how to fix it but in the end you know got to work so check it out all right fellas so you already see how it is and then omnisphere was also another one too in itself uh so that should that should solve your issues right there with nexus now check out omnisphere it's uh, I don't know. There's not any settings on here, too, but as well, this takes up a whole hell of a lot more uh, memory than it does Nexus. Uh, and clearing. Yeah, so smooth. another thing i do want to i just remember here go to your options apologize if my drop down box is not coming up man i need to try to figure out the setting here in obs to see where i can show y'all this uh now if any of y'all know how to do this fix man y'all put this down in the comment box and i gladly appreciate it but i'm gonna tell y'all where to go in just in case if it doesn't show up so you go to your options tab and from your options tab you go to audio settings okay and from the audio settings, you'll see first thing, your input, you know, input and output uh, selection area. And normally you use your device, probably your interface, or you're using the FL Studio ASIO plugin that they have already on here that, you know, you have to use pretty much in order for this to work. Um, make sure that your sample rate is right next, uh, it's just shy off to the right, is that, uh, 44,100 uh, hertz and keep that there I mean don't change that ever um, now right below you'll see something that says the buffer length and it's probably like 5, 12, SMP uh, basically that's like you know you're buffering like your latency when um, you try to play some you know, play some things but you know I guess the lower it is the less uh, lag it'll have and the higher a little bit more latency that you'll have with it so 512, I guess, you know, that's where it's been at. So it's the standard. Uh, if you go to 1024 or 2048, that's where you'll receive, like you press down your keyboard. It'll be a little bit slight delay, but you really won't be able to tell. I mean, if it doesn't bother you that much, you can do it. And if it also helps, man, hell, I mean, if that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. So uh, also, if you can go a little bit lower, my priority 
Um, I have highlighted my safe overloads. Uh, playback tracking is under driver offsets, you know, balanced out at zero. Then go to your CPU settings. I have all of this highlighted. So just to let y'all know, like I said, if y'all don't see this, I'm telling y'all now. So just follow through. Um, and yeah, those, those are the settings that I have that would help out with this situation. Now, that's pretty much it, fellas. Now, if this doesn't help out, you know, just let me know in the comment box and I'll try to look up and try to find some different options that will help you out with this and we can get we can get this popping with y'all man but uh again this is tripsy i appreciate y'all uh watching this video please like comment and subscribe share this with other people if people are having this type of issue um just let me know what type of videos that you may want to see later down on the road uh, i'll be coming here soon to try to make some more beats laying them out you know doing a little live events not really live but making beats as I go to show y'all how it's really done uh, to try to sound like the greats, you know, and just learn as we go, man, transition and do this fluidly. So I appreciate everything that y'all do watching these videos, supporting me. And thank y'all. God bless. And y'all take it easy. Peace.